Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander Tactical. Now, whilst I'm out playing Airsoft, I often see a lot of people wearing G-Shocks. G-Shocks are widely renowned to be one of the toughest watches out there, but they still use a mineral glass display on them. And I've heard people saying they can definitely take a hit, they definitely can't take a hit, and, well, I just wanted to put it to the test. So, I've bought a G-Shock, let's take this out and I thought what we would do today is we'd have a look and we I do my perfectly scientific test on whether or not a G-Shock can take a BB from Airsoft now I've bought out three rifles or I say I bought out three um, three replica pew pews with me I bought a pistol I bought an, an M4 and I bought a sniper rifle mainly because they will give that kind of I'd say they're possibly the most common rifts that you'll see out there um, now unfortunately I don't own a chrono which is a shame it's something that I probably do need to pick up so what I'll do is is I'll put when I when I when I start to do these I'll put these speeds down from the manufacturers websites generally they're using uh, two zero uh, BBs but I'm running two eights mainly because well, doesn't everybody just not run two zeros? Uh, so yes, so that's what we're going to test. Now this is, just in case you're unsure, so this is a, a DW5610SU. Hopefully you'll see, let's get that in there. Let's make sure that's the, the, uh, the, the screen on this, the, uh, the glass on the front is perfectly intact. And yeah, we'll check to see if this works. So first of all, we're going to use uh, my SSP, what is this? This is the SSP-18 from Novrich. Um, as I mentioned, so this, this does run red gas and it's running two eights. So yeah, let's get this set up. Okay, so here we have it. I've put it on this chunky uh, wrist simulator. Uh, and we're gonna have to try and get the angles right on this one so I can get it with both cameras. Uh, so yeah, let's try it with the SSP-18. So don't forget, safety first. I'm definitely going to say that took it like a champ. Really wasn't expecting, well, I really wasn't sure what to expect. I'm glad that it didn't smash on the first one, mainly because it would have been a very short piece of content. Uh, so, if you're fast enough to be able to deflect like Wonder Woman, uh, somebody shooting with an SSP-18 uh, with two eights in there, it will just, it will just bounce off. Now we're moving up a little bit now. Uh, so this is my Umarex uh, VFC, uh, what is it, the HK, HK416. Um, traveling a little bit faster, still using two weights. Um, so yeah, let's see how this one does. Okay, here we go. Now I'm trying to get this as straight on as possible. Okay, so we definitely killed it that time, but we still haven't smashed the, uh, the, the, the glass at the front. It looks as though there is a hairline crack going from one side to the other, but I don't think that's the actual outside lens or the outside glass. That is the LCD display in the middle, and the LCD on here has definitely broken. Uh, so, just be careful if you're getting pew pewed at by somebody with an AEG because um, it might do some damage to your G-Shock. Now, I will say that first hit didn't do any damage. I pushed my luck and I, 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 I hit it again a second time. That's where the damage happened. That's not to say that it wasn't there the first time and the second time made it a, a, a bit worse, uh, but I've hit them all now with two shots. Um, 
So guess really we're just going all out now to see if we can break it. And then next up we have my Silverback Tac 41. So there we have it, the TAC-41 brought this G-Shock to the end of its usable life. The, 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 the display on the inside is, is a lot more kind of broken up. It does still, you can still press the, the buttons and there is a strange bit of movement on the display when you press the buttons but you certainly can't see that because the, uh, the main mineral crystal here on the front is completely smashed. Um, so what does this tell us? I don't know what it tells us really. I guess it tells us that you can't deflect a sniper rifle with your G-Shock. You can kind of deflect an AEG with your G-Shock, but definitely don't get hit more than once. And you most probably can deflect a pistol airsoft round with your G-Shock. So there you go, Scienti science, science shows that, just be careful with your watch. Um, these are great and they are designed to be tough, uh, but clearly a direct impact on the glass like this uh, definitely isn't good for these watches. So there you go. Hey, how about I leave a link below so you can find where you can buy one of these amazing G-Shocks that don't um, take sniper rounds from an airsoft. Oh yeah, and just in case you're watching YouTube, all of these have been replica rifles. Everything that has happened today has been tested under the strictest safety conditions and everything has been done as perfectly legal. Uh, so do one um, but yeah there you go so I will leave some links below so you can see more from me here on Morelander Tactical and also my sister channel Morelander EDC but for now as always stay safe stay Morelander and stay tactical hi I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander Tactical I'm a huge fan of watches and I think no let's put that on my face my face yeah my face that's better then I'll be in focus so there we have it, the TAC-41 bought this G-Shock to the end of its user, usable, user, usable, kind of protect it, uh, but I think what we found today is just be careful because, yeah, you need just, yeah, just be careful with your G-Shock, no, that sounded fuck, you fucking fuck, face fucking fuck, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Did loads better than I was expecting. Hey, should we do a giveaway? Does anybody want a, uh, does anybody want a G-Shock that the Morelander um, pew pewed with some, with some BBs? Leave your favouritest sandwich combination in the description below. One, that will show that you got through to the bloopers, and two, maybe I'll pull out a winner and send this to you. I don't know, that seems daft, but hey, we're all daft. That's what we do. We do daft things. Uh, yeah, this is going out on Friday. Hope you all had a good week. Yeah, cool. See you in a bit.